everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's video. Today we're looking at a 65 Mustang with so much equipment on it, right? Not to mention the fact it is a convertible. And I'm gonna give you a couple stats, a couple interesting things about this car in particular and Mustangs in general, right? So let's talk about this. First off, 1965, they say there's a 64 and a half Mustang. Most of you have heard about that, that they're all 65s. However, those were earlier built cars. Anyway, my point is that they built 680,000 Mustangs that year, almost 700,000 cars. However, only 10% of them were convertibles, right? That's why these cars continue to go up in value. And this one here in particular has so much great stuff on it. A lot of times people say, hey, Tone, that is a great looking car, but you don't really know why it's a great looking car. It's just a great looking car to you. I'm gonna go ahead and point some of that stuff out today and hopefully uh, find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so we wanna see some of the things on here that make it, uh, make it great. So like a GT package that's been added to this car, right? You would've got a regular Mustang, then they would've upgraded to the GT package and part of the GT package would've come with this, what they call tri-bar grill with the two GT fog lights that are in there. There's a switch underneath the dash that turns those on there. You have the pony wheels here, pony wheels here, and these have the correct right? Uh, this is a period correct bias ply tire. This was a show car, right? They ordered the correct bias ply tires. I might suggest this, that a couple small changes on this car, if you wanted to. You don't have to do any of what I'm saying, I'm just suggesting. For instance, like these look so good on the car. However, a radial tire would make it drive better. That was one of the good inventions back in then. The next thing is a white stripe right here. We could put a little white GT stripe right there. That would add a nice little touch to this car, connecting the white walls, or we could do white letters, all right? Lastly, this spotlight here, sorry, not lastly, this is a cool feature. This is a real deal, okay? This was an option and this was, and it is a working spotlight. This is a working spotlight. It works the way it's supposed to. If you don't want it, uh, they sell a cap for this here and we can take that off if you don't love it. Up to you. I only suggest these things to know so that you know that there are changes you can make, right? Along the way and make it and personalize it for you. Some people love it exactly the way it is and we can leave it just the way it is, all right? Lastly, uh, the luggage rack does not have to stay. They make uh, something to do that, or we can completely eliminate the luggage rack and, uh, and move past that, all right? As, we, uh, as I run out of breath rambling about how excited I get with so many things that are on this car, the underneath of this car, the inside of this car, the drivetrain, uh, all restored, all beautifully restored, right? This was a show car at one time, and you'll see why when we get under the hood next. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood here. And you know what, maybe you're not a mechanical person and that's fine, that's exactly why you wanna buy this car. This has all been redone for you, so all you need to do is drive it. However, you might wanna to go to a car show once in a while. You might wanna to go to a cars and coffee event or whatever. This is designed so that you can open the hood and be proud of what's under here. Let me explain to you why. For the, for the people that are not super, super enthusiasts, but you really love a great car, I'll show you some things on here that make this a little better and a little nicer than others. And the reason why that is, is if they have done these little details, they've done the other details around the car that people take shortcuts on. Uh, when they're restoring a car. So for instance, right here, uh, this is a one year only where they paint the engine block black and the valve covers and the air cleaner are gold. That is correct on the car. This has Ford hoses or labeled Fords and these tower clamps where you say, well, Tone, so what if it's got tower clamps? How much can they cost? Agreed, right? They're only about 10 times the price of a regular band clamp. However, that's what I'm saying. If they've done this and they've done this with the right fasteners and what have you, then you know you're getting a better car. This has the battery topper here to make it look like an old school auto light battery. It has the uh, washer bag that's over here and it has a couple nice features on it like power steering, right? Power steering is nice. We forget to ask about those things because today's modern car comes with all that. And then of course we've talked about this here. Nice, good, quick sign for a good car. You can see the new wiring here, right? Horns. Well, Tone, doesn't every car have horns? Why are you so enamored by horns? Well, that's not true. So many cars come here with no horns. I say, who drives around with no horns, right? We've all driven in traffic. Who would possibly drive around with no horns, right? Anyway, this is here. They're functional. They're working like they're supposed to. This is a person who loved this car. They took it to car shows, and you would be the beneficiary of them taking care of it. All right, so there's no mistaking the back of this car as being a Mustang. Like you would not need to have this on here when somebody pulls up behind and goes, what kind of car is that? Is that a Ford Pinto? 
Is that uh, a Dodge pickup truck? Of course not. Everybody knows when they see this that it's a Mustang. This one here with the GT exhaust tips coming out of the back here, the reverse lights where they're supposed to be. Again, I mentioned this up front. If you don't love the luggage rack, some people do, some people don't. This is removable, all right? And then I like detail, and I'm a detail person because when I when I restore these cars, I shouldn't say I. When we restore these cars, right, we try to put detail into them. And also I like people who do that and, and I'm able to pass that on to you. So for instance, this has a spare tire that matches the other tires. It's painted beautifully. You say, well, Tone, every car comes with a spare tire. Uh, why is that a big deal? And why are you spending time with it? Because every car does not come with a spare tire. 99% of the cars never come with a spare tire. When I see one in there, I know that these people really cared about the car. It has a Titan mat in here. Uh, uh, tartan mat, sorry, the tartan mat for uh, that. And then this right here, just a little touch. It doesn't really matter. I'm only showing you this because they cared a lot about this car. This is a dash cover. And the dash cover, just to protect the dash if they went to a car show or something like that, it goes in the trunk of the car. Again, little detail stuff that says this car here might potentially be a little nicer than some of the other ones you might be looking at out there. Sometimes it's about, uh, it's about the effort put in and the enjoyment uh, that you get out. All right, so come join me in here for a second. I'm gonna show you some of the little things about in here. But again, back to detail stuff. The footwell lighting is working. The shifter light is working. You would say, Tone, isn't that mandatory that all that stuff works anyway? Well, no, it's not mandatory. A lot of times people take shortcuts. They don't do those things. This has the full gauges here. Lastly, when I talk about the detail stuff is the fact that this right here um, with the upgraded pod here, the, the, the clock is working. And you're like, well, of course the clock is working. It's a restored car. No, 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 no. Two years after this car was new, the clock stopped working, right? This right here says that somebody uh, spent some time making sure all of this stuff worked. When they went to a car show, they weren't embarrassed by things that didn't work. The car didn't go straight. The car overheated. The, this doesn't work, whatever. All of those bugs are taken out because this was somebody's pride and joy, and this is why you buy this car, all right? This has the original AM radio in it here, and if you want, what we do for a lot of people is we install uh, AM, FM, uh, hidden stereo here, and then you get to keep the cool stock dash, stream your music to that, but this has buckets, this has console, uh, this has just a full array of gauges as well. And uh, the added gauges here, the three spoke wheel is so nice. The horn works like it should. The spotlight's here, if you don't want it, we can remove that as well. But uh, so many things on this car are cool. It's just a great interior, not to mention, this is the upgraded pony interior, right? That's a big deal. The seats are nicer. The door panels are molded and they're nicer. The whole interior is just a nicer. This is just a nicer, nicer car that's built better, restored better, and has a lot of great features. All right, so we close up the video on this really beautifully restored, I'd say, show car, right? With so many options, right? Pony interior, power steering, uh, road wheels, the pony road wheels with uh, the correct period, correct tires. The wheel and tire combination alone would be $2,000 on Coker's website right now. $2,000 just for wheels and tires, right? The GT package here where you have the, uh, the, the spot, the, running lights, uh, this cool feature with the spotlight here, and then you throw in things like the console and the full gauges and on and on and on and on. I get excited about it because you know what, at the end of the day, it's a Mustang convertible, it's a great looking car, it just makes you smile when you see it, you can't help yourself, and it's a great color combination too. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about this cool Mustang convertible. And if you would please, don't forget to share this with some friends, click the like button down below, and I suggest you subscribe to the channel because we're putting out video every day now.